comes. Oh, she's heavy. section nicely done so this is Brian's eagle that we're working on here and one of the first things that I noticed is that it's not sitting level he's down about two inches on the left side compared to the right um, he's not so worried about that right now. He just bought this bus, uh, in October, so he hasn't had it very long. Um, he's going to need to check all that out though, weigh the bogey, see how much weight's on the bogey, and then go from there is how you do it by the book. But, uh, suspension adjustment's not too hard. So we're going to get into it here, uh, get into the front wheel bearings, uh, check, you know, wheel seals, kingpin wear, all that kind of safety steering, you know, tie rod ends, all that kind of stuff up front to see what's going on. Um, and kind of go from there. But uh, it's a beautiful bus. You saw it climb the hill. It's got lots of power. It doesn't really have any oil leaks. It's been sitting here for about 24 hours. There's just a couple little drips under there. That's not bad at all. So uh, we'll get into it and see what we got. Got movement on that bushing up there and then we have movement in the kingpin there but that's bad bushings in the kingpin it's not only moving up but it's rotating in and then we got roll in that bushing up there you want to lay back under here now that i'm no here i want you to wiggle this wheel while i film it without moving so they can see how much this wheel is moving Stuck my finger in there and a ton of metal in the wheel bearing and the Stemco cap there. Go ahead and pull that cap out again because you can see in the oil where I stirred it up. It's like a river of metal. I see myself. Looks like it's about 101-ish hanging out there. 15 seconds into it, it looks like maybe we've lost one. Still hanging out around 100. Maybe slightly over. It's still about 101. That's pretty good. Step and hold the brake pedal down, hard. pretty tight and not very often I see them do that immediately when they come in already holding air that good that's good enough you can let go this is the dust cap the grease cap 
Now it's, oh, there's a hole through it. <laughs> That's why it's so burned out. Tyler's dumped all this dust out of the... <laughs> it is a dust cap now, but it is a grease cap. There's no, there's no bushing there. <laughs> you can see into there. Is it into the arm though? Oh yeah, it's gone. I got pieces of the bushing sticking out over here. Can I see it? Yeah. That is horrible. Brian's trying to remove some ancient flathead screws. <laughs> Best fastener ever manufactured in the world. <laughs> So good they replaced it. Hey, I got a new giant screw extractor. I think that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> might, might need them for the bushes. Don't, yeah. don't laugh too quick. <laughs> oh, that it was, turned? That was golden. Nice. It was coated in grease. I had to scrape grease off of it. <laughs> so is that, but it has holes in it. <laughs> so far, they've all turned. See, you guys take the victories where you can get them. Oh, yeah, all for them. Smells like grease, even. Maybe on that end. <laughs> That's where it all went. That thing ain't been greased in. Where's the grease fitting? Since Tyler was born. Is there one on the cap? There's one down here on this side. <laughs> is there one on your side, or is it broke off? I think there was supposed to be one there. Nothing there. Dry as shit here too. All right, watch your face. And yeah, watch. I want to see how dry this is. Right here. Oh yeah, that's good. Whole thing turning? Nope. No. See wasn't true. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is that grease? <laughs> you want some eye protection? Sure. You got sunglasses on. I'm going in front of my face when I'm holding yeah. my hand up in front of safety glasses. It's sad that I jumped in the bus yeah. again. hint of grease in there whatsoever with these bushings so yeah you can see there's a little play going on in there absolutely no grease just worn through nasty any further and it would have really got in there and messed things up okay. <laughs> you said that just as I hit record <laughs> <Great>. coca-cola <laughs> up there removing the in motion satellite dish. Can you slide it down this ladder over here? Like a, just yeah. <laughs> that way it doesn't scratch your bus. And if you, if you got a long enough cord, it should just go. It's not heavy. No, you're going perfect. more cord you got a lot yeah I got it. <laughs> made it that worked out perfectly yeah now i have a whole <laughs> board to put that thing on yeah. it won't run very long unless i go flip the master on inside because of the air switch yeah um does it have air from earlier when we aired it up or did it leak it all off Switches off. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It's not. <laughs>
cylinder here is leaking. I have the new rubber for the plunger, so when you take the inside of it out, there's a plunger that pulls out and this little cup goes on there and that's what seals it up inside there. and that one's probably so old and brittle from the heat and everything so we'll put this new one on and that should fix this air leak on that shutdown. So the previous owner before he bought it had just had it serviced at a major truck heavy duty truck place and apparently they didn't hit any of those grease fittings there um, but that just goes to show you, you got to take it to a bus guy to get the bus stuff done because they're not used to seeing that kind of suspension at a truck shop. They would have no clue what any of that stuff is for. And uh, yeah, I, I honestly thought maybe that was a rubber bushing up there on that. I never I never had that apart realize there was actually a kingpin in there either myself. But uh, there is grease fittings on everything up there. So yet again, you know, somebody's been taking it. And it's not like the bus owners are the ones crawling under there doing all this greasing for the most part. A lot of times they're, you know, elderly guys and they're paying for a shop to do it. And you kind of expect the shop to do it. But get the book out, go through the book with them. Um, they're not going to let you sit there and watch them for the most part, but, uh, uh, come here and I'll let you do it and I'll jack it up and get the wheels up for you and all that. And then you can climb under there with your own grease gun and make sure you get everything. That's the hard part, getting the wheels off or getting it up in the air. On an Eagle really just to, to do those suspension joints too, you're supposed to have the, the wheels just hanging down. So there's a center, center jack point in the front end. You can jack the bus up from there. It, it unloads all the weight off of the wheels. And then you can hit all the, all those grease fittings and we'll take grease. But but I don't think that this one has ever had grease, probably since it rolled out of the factory is what it looked like. <laughs> that was that, that's probably the driest thing I've ever seen. Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. 